music, sound, everything. So it's how a finished product will be looking, but it's a sample. Something like a, it's not exactly a trailer, but it's kind of like a sample of what you, uh, what you made. So we took the, the pilot and to the channel, and first pitch was rejected. We, we made a second pitch, we really changed something, we made a second pitch, second pitch also rejected in 2006. After many rejections from many other channels, there was Cartoon Network rejected, Coco rejected, Disney, Aga, uh, and uh, Nickelodeon. Since 17 channels, everybody rejected us. I mean, again, 2007, after we have produced more shows, Coco uh, saw that good potential in Chota, and they said yes. And once Coco said yes, went on the air in April 8, 2008. This turning point in our uh, business saved us from shutdown. If it did not happen, we probably we wouldn't take it neither would the uh, Chota Bean. It's important to understand why does Chota Bean work. Uh, in a market like India, we will be competing with the best of shows in international. And as you know, everybody wants to appreciate international stuff more than Indian stuff. It's a passion. People would not say openly, I love this, I love that. Except the little ones, because they not buy us towards anything. So the brand deal, what happened, it took us a long time to evolve this and that. But before that, we had to compete with the top shows in the world. Tom and Jerry, Dan Dan, Doraemon. So there was number one shows in US or America, US or Europe or Japan or Asia. So in Indian television channels, they are showing the best of content worldwide. Now how do we compete as a small company when we back in way back in 2007? How do we compete with these international giants? It's my goal to imagine that we are going to compete with actually Warner Brothers and uh, Walt Disney and all these such big uh, Sony or Japanese, South Japanese animation companies. We will compete. So you have that university. It's very simple. The idea doesn't work anymore. The idea you have is an idea. You have to have a university. Does anybody know what's a university? University is unique selling point. What, whenever you start a company, you need to have a USB. That is a unique selling point. Something different about uh, your company. Let us take example, you have seen. What is the take? So what is USB of the graph saying? What is different about your graph saying? He can hit the ball of the park six times in an hour. Sometimes three times. And here, the other three, the chain is a match winner. That is the USB. It's a passenger. Let's take USB law. Let us say, uh, who is this fantastic law? Sorry? It's a cheap. It's a cheap. So, what is this USB? Can somebody tell? Sorry? So it can go fast, it can take tickets. That's the USB. So similar to this, sign on a USB, that went to China. She's fast, she's quick, she can be the Chinese, no can think about that time. So everybody has USB. You, 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 everybody has USB. Why does Shoda Bean work for us? Because in the market, there is no Indian market. There is no stories that connect with the Indian audience. In most of these TV shows, it's, they talk about hamburgers, they talk about food that you never heard about. At least, probably you guys are the lucky ones, but there's so many people in the villages, they don't know what is a hamburger, they don't know what is a pizza. So, but they understand the language of Hindi, Hindi language, they understand what is the language. They understand what's paradas. They understand the if they connect. So it's important that you connect with the audience and one of the reasons why being successful is that it connects with the Indian kids. It connects, it promotes Indian culture. 
So these are the reasons why it is successful. Today, because of being, we have an entirely new company set up called Green Gold Licensing and Merchandising. What does this company do? We produce merchandise. We make t-shirts. We make toys. We make sports wear. We make comics. We make every other thing you can imagine about having print product. Photo print t-shirts. Green is everywhere today. That is licensed by some pack of it's on non cooking noodles, it's on so many biscuit packets, so many, it's on Usha fans. If you go to Dubai, when you see fans, you see Usha fans also, it's there. People are buying plastic product, storytelling ability, but we have created a backend that does distribute also. Now, let us say now, Chris 3, I think everybody knows the movie is coming to the market. Rakesh Koshin. Version, these guys are doing it. They want to do their merchandise. Right? They also have this mask and everything. But they cannot distribute 50,000 outlets in India. They can only distribute 25 outlets or 100. But what is important is the bag. That is what we are creating. So today, if I release a game movie or any animated movie or whatever movie we want to do, we can put our merchandise in so many other stores. I'll give you another fact. The sales, the data collection from the movie Cars. I hope you guys have seen Cars. Two, two, uh, 200 million is the data collection from the movie Cars. But do you know what is the, what is the, uh, what is the collection for the merchandise? It's 2 billion. That is 2,000 million, so 10 times more. So everybody wants to, I mean, I'm sure one of you have bought cars for your cousin, for yourself, for your brother, sister, whoever. So this merchandise thing is something that connects, makes you connect with your favorite character. It's an important part. And in India, this was not happening earlier, and then we will first, first do this. So we have a dream. Okay, this is not exactly Greenwood uh, Pictures. This is actually Pixar. Pixar Studio in uh, Hollywood. And on the top you see Greenwood Pictures. That's just the dream we have. We want to be like as big as Pixar one day. We want to attend. We don't know if we'll succeed or not. No one knows. But we want to attend one day. We want to be as big as Pixar or probably as big as this uh, means it's not going to be easy, but we can certainly try. One of the things about entrepreneurship is that we keep trying. I think all of you would have read in history that Muhammad was living in India 17 times. Am I correct? Yes. So he never quit. The 18th time he was on the Indian side of things, somebody who he always took the something so easy, the problem was not attended to properly. So, similarly, the property is always on your side to keep trying. You can pay once, twice, thrice, four times. Good thing in life is that you can attend as many times as possible. But for the exam, it's only once you should. <laughs> so, I give you this fact about the movie we have produced and why we are game changers in the market. This is not pie chart. I hope people here understand pie chart. Before we make something, we, we want to understand is that are we what is not being compared in the market. So last year, 2012, there are six animated movies released in the market. One of us, uh, one of the movies was ours. Then there was Anjum, the Warrior Prince from Beauty and Disney, Krishna Ogans from Relax, Eli Sarpari, Sons of Ram from Mughal Kimon Ajay from Niku and Ingoli. So you see that all these are very big companies, especially in Beauty and Disney, Mughal Chitra the Lands, they have very, 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 very good, big muscle power when it comes to distribution movies or 
money and everything. Bedford stands out in number one space with almost 55 percent the market share is the movie of Chopin, the mask. The company which is the first movie that we release. So from that we know that hey, we can we can take up this market, we can capture, we can make for this movie. So in the recent times, what I just showed is a uh, picture of Greenwood uh, Beaches. So we, the first movie we produced under that banner was Chota Bhiman Personal Kanya. The second movie is Chota Bhiman Kronal Bali, which we released as the Sama. And the, these two movies are the top one and two movies ever in the history of Indian, Indian, uh, Indian uh, animation. So the uh, first is Chota Bhiman Personal Kanya. Second highest collection is uh, Throne of Bali. Third is Hanuman. I think 2004, I think you guys would have been the right age that time to watch Hanuman. So it is beaten Hanuman. Hanuman again came in time 2004 when uh, there were not so many multiplexes. So uh, I think Hanuman for me is a bigger movie. But what we have started the trend is that there is a market out there. We will trying to create something bigger. So every year, we will be going to produce one movie. Whenever we produce a movie, again, we don't just go blind about it. When we did this movie, Throne of Bali, we went to Bali. And for some of you who don't know where Bali is, Bali is an island in Indonesia. And it's goes south of the equator. And we researched a lot. We went to Bali, we took pictures, we studied how the trees are, the houses, the water, the caves, the people, the places, the food habits, the painting culture, the art, architecture, all and flora basically. And we implemented that in the movie. And then we also recorded some new Balinese music. Uh, and we used that in the movie. Because we need to give that feel. Today, you ask a kid who never heard I mean, none of us but I've heard of Bali at that age, but these guys now can show you on the, on the globe where Bali is or wherever Chota we have been. So, in that we are also teaching something for the kids when we are, uh, uh, when we are uh, doing our movies. We have television movies, we have even gone to China, we have gone to Nepal, now we have the next movie is going to Japan. So, so many things that we keep doing, we are teaching kids about the food and culture or other places. We are also uh, telling the kids, nurturing their mind that okay, the world is a small place that people are the same everywhere. And you know, we place, we religion, all these kind of things that we forgot in the past. So these are some of the same things we did for Bali. And uh, I'll show you some. We're making an entire new series on this thing about Arjun. So Arjun is for people who haven't seen this movie, is Prince of Bali. It's got nothing to do with Mahabharata, it's not that Arjun. So Arjun, this is Bali, the Prince of Bali. We have his friend, Zuma, Tiger. She's not so Tiger. This one, you see, this is sister, Tanya. This guy is his friend, Bucho. So we created an entire new show just from the seed idea when he made his movie Bali. So when it's so easier, Greenwood was not such a big brand. Till we actually made a theatrical film. When we thought they and once we started to think they things started changing for us as a company. Before that we were scared to release the vision film, why we can't do that. So all this mental loss we had. And we said, forget it. Let's, let's just move forward, let's jam, let's plan later. So when you have that attitude and you're not afraid to fail, that is why you should be going with entrepreneurship, or starting your own company. If you are afraid to fail, till the time you cannot handle failure, you should go to work, take up a job, or do something that pays up that resistance level. Everybody cannot. They 
So it's, it's different. That's actually the real life. But uh, Mahabharata or Ramayana are being done again and again. That was the first things we did actually. We produced uh, Krishna series. It was on the uh, Vedas life. But what is not good for a company like us when we produce a show like Mahabharata or Ramayana or Krishna or stories based on Ram is that it's, these are public, these are the public domain. And anyone and everyone can make this. When our company was producing Krishna, for government, there were 70 other companies producing Krishna. So we don't feel secure because we are a small company, but we are also making Krishna. Everybody else in the world is making Krishna. If you go and look in the market now, like you have these uh, DVDs and these CDs, if you ask for Krishna, you find 20 volumes. If you ask for Vikram Vedal, you will find another 10 volumes. If you ask for Ram, 50 volumes. For different cities, only companies. If you ask for Choda King, there is only one company that makes Choda King. Because that is our IP, our intellectual property. So it is, that is how we differentiate from other companies. But what you said is uh, correct. Mahabharata and Ramayana would be promoted uh, by parents to watch for kids. And already so many TV stations are doing that. Why do I need to make another Ramayana or Mahabharata? I'll just tell them to watch Star Plus or wherever that thing is happening. Anyway, it's more good for you. Good. Good. Okay, good morning, sir. Like you said, you were late for the first page and then for the third one, the second page also. And then you are approved the third page. What if you were rejected in the third page and the fourth page and the fifth page? How many more times were you ready to get? 100 times. 100 times? Yes. I felt what? Same thing is happening with us today. Today we have uh, 100 times in the meaning that I would never quit. When I believe in something, I would never quit. And today we are making, I told you about those two movies that were just so that we do not buy the First movie we tried to release internationally, we didn't succeed. Second movie we succeeded to release in Mauritius, PG, and we would release very shortly in US, small screens. But the real story is when, like a Hollywood movie, an Indian movie which is released in India is also released in 200 countries across the world, just like a Hollywood movie is done. That, that is something that we are attending to. Two movies we produced, we failed, but we don't keep trying to succeed. Same thing about Shoda Game. If the core idea is wrong, we will not attend it. We will understand. When somebody tells us, look, so it doesn't, you cannot be, you cannot do this with this show. The show is just flaw. The show is not good because X, Y, Z reason. But nobody is able to give us a reason. I would say we like it, but we don't know. So that is not right. So something that, is, that means that you can try it. Somebody says it's crap, and everyone else also says it's crap. That means they're right. There's something I'm missing. So you have to understand also that whether it is the right thing or not right. So if I believe that this is not their right, this product won't work, I will definitely do it. I have to believe that this product is not good. As long as I believe the product is good, I will keep trying. I may be failing, but it's okay. Nothing wrong in failing. I just want to extend this one a little bit. Um, assuming that you know, uh, we got a feedback, so then how do you register the feedback? Right? Uh, everybody is coming and telling you this is wrong, this is bad. Right? Um, do you put up a filter in front of you? Uh, what kind of filters do you want to buy? Do you want to share in class about that with you? Let's say the uh, opinions are always easy to come and people will say uh, we get like uh, thousands of customers that you always say this is their negative impression of something. But overall we have to look at the big picture, like how many people are is liking it or not liking it. So when there's more dislikes than likes, then there's something wrong for you to you have to correct. And Similarly, when we take the feedback, uh, when, for example, when we did the show, 
we had everything the team was doing it should be the other character, the girl character. It's not doing much. Then my niece, they said, I mean, this is not fair. The team is doing everything. What about you, Chuki? She is not doing anything. Then I said, I like what you said. And we changed the script from there onwards at the end show that Chuki comes up with the ideas. We implement it. But Chuki is the one with the brain. We implement it. Also, the girls wanted to see Chuki get up Kali. It's another character. And we did that. And when we did that, the Kali. Uh, that was one of the most popular shows with the girls. And the girls love it. If they watch the thing, they make that episode. Because the girl gets a big one, and that's a, uh, something they like. And also, the girls ask for simple things. Like, I want to see Chukki's skate. Simple things, skating, they want to see. They wanted to see Chukki make uh, paradas for me. You know, it's weird. You cannot imagine, I cannot imagine, but the girls have a different imagine. And one of the questions we always get uh, asked is, the uh, girl will be in Mali when it was a Chukki or in Mali. So we get asked so many things. The imagination of the kids is really important. Uh, they think differently. So in reality, 
no one knows the idea of Yoga Mama. Not even the television station, not me. No one knows. It's the audience that decides. How do you measure audience reaction? No one has to do it. The idea can always work from always to fail. And I think a good idea, you have to give it timing right. If you, your idea of timing is too slow or too old, it's not good. The idea has to be timed right. Today we get Shodali and release in the market, it will be a big flop. But we timed it right, we made it in 2008 and there was a term of animation content. Indian animation model. So there are so many shows. I think some of the shows they look better and story wise they think they're better than Chodali, but they don't work because that the timing is not right because there's already a similar idea like that. So it doesn't work. Now today example let's take iPhones or Mac, Windows. When you came to India and you started you plan to start a company, how exactly do you do it? Did you have a group of friends whom you could, you know, get uh, implement the entire company thing? What, what did you do? See, uh, first thing in 2000 when I came back, when I started going back from the US to India, everybody thought I want that. Okay, because in 2000, Indian economy was not so great. It was a rising economy. The US was deep down. Like, and if you're coming back to us, you've definitely done something wrong. That's what everyone thinks that you've either gone to, you've done some crime there that will tell you back to India. Some people don't believe you. Why would you come back to India? That's what everybody asks me. I mean, that's one of the reasons they say, great, when I wanted to start this company, I had a fantastic job, a fabulous job. Everything was great for the company. And then I'm quitting this job to do something that I can't do. So while my friends could understand me, I was everyone loved the idea, but nobody wanted to come and join. Everyone promised, okay, okay, I'm not going to be there next year. Let's do it together. Next year we'll be there. Then ten years later, twelve years later, nobody showed. Yes, if you have a friend, the journey is much easier. But you can all also make friends once you start the company. You can always do that. Make friends or partners. It is the need of the alcohol. Once upon a time, it was about one man show in this world. Like the world is deep or do you buy money? A single gentleman could conquer the nation or his enemies. Today, no longer you can do that. Today is a world of collaborations, partnerships. Because there is no time. It took 20 years to succeed. You have 2 years, 3 years to succeed. And hence it becomes important to have friends or partners or relatives or whatever, sister, brother or whatever. It's, it's the way of collaboration. So if you can master collaboration, you can be a fantastic enterprise. Great question. I have a follow-up question for you. So you said you could draw, you could think, right? Sorry. You said you could draw yeah. and you could think as well. Uh, when you went to the Admission in San Francisco, right? Now, do you finally uh, end up doing that, or do you found some new friends who gradually grow? Yes, I made friends because that's the easier thing to do. And uh, drawing, I still try to do also. But honestly, even I think this is the best drawing ever, no one thinks that way. So, uh, I know that it's not my strength. So, I stick to my strength, which is more about the uh, more about creative ideas. So I also have an understanding which is coming up with new ideas, new concepts, implementing them and not quitting on the idea. And of course, I uh, have a lot of friends who are the number one artists in the world. So I am lucky to have them on my side. Thanks. How did you make sure that you were getting the visualization of Charlie was um, conveyed through someone else's drawing? Yeah, so the first thing when you think of a character, you give him character like tools. Like, how does he look? Is he cute? What does he wear? So, first thing that I say, name should wear a dhoti, which is orange color. Name should not wear a shirt. And they should have that what you call uh, uh, 
the amulet in the neck, in the arm, and uh, the first description of me is that unless it is strong, strong doesn't mean he needs to be fat. He can be just slim and trim and still be strong. And so, so I, I started telling people this is what I want. So about 20 people had drawn him, and everyone's imagination of him was their imagination. And 80 percent of them made him fat. Is it, is it strong? You can, we cannot have a hero. Fat is nothing wrong, but you don't need to be. If you have to be strong, doesn't mean you have to be fat. That's that's something in the past. We have to make him look thin because he needs to move fast. He has to be quick. He has to dance. He has to you know, jump. So you need to be fat uh, people about it. So so when you convey all these things, you tell them, okay, he has what kind of hair color? Brown, red, green, blue, black. What is the eyes color? And how old is he? How tall is he? So these are the right character attributes. Is he naughty? Who is, is he shy? All these. These characters, when you, can, when you do explain to them is what I want, everybody will have a different picture in their mind. And, and then if you can draw it, they, so the artist can draw it. So they do. Then I started seeing this 20 and he says, I like this kind of a high level body guy. I like this face, I like that hair, I like him, uh, this smile, this, so it would fall together. And then we made, so like that we made almost 100 drawings before we finalized this beam. And then we scrapped everything and started again and made this final beam that looks like that. And today, I think the beam, what we have, I think we could have done far better than what it is. But somehow it is a this is loved by everyone, so we are happy that we have been. But the new characters what we're making they look more more nicer.
So the creative side cannot do the business. The business can't side cannot do the creative. But with my experience, one of my educational background, it gave me a lot of confidence. So when I face the people, somebody asks you a question, hey, what is your background? What do you study? You know, there are so many lines in this world. You know, very good opportunity to get to you put it down. And then, but that, because you have good education, you have know this confidence. If he says that I have an education from master students, I always have a master education from his world. So, my head is always up. So, education and mapping it forms the core. And I don't regret that when I went and did my master's. Like I said, I wanted to do a master's and do something else. I don't regret one bit because that gave me the confidence I have today that I learned so much in that degree and even my job experience that I had software work taught me how to make powerpoints, taught me how to make excel sheets, organize the way. So it's important to have that experience also. And the, the corporate culture that I saw, I was able to resonate that and take that to the animation world where everybody is treating the employees differently, the artists especially, come from, in those days, very poor backgrounds. So they were treated differently in Indian other companies. But coming from their background, where they don't know how it is. So it is, you also tend to think differently and, the, and we gave them a lot of respect and they work from their heart and that if they didn't do that, we wouldn't be here. So it's, yeah, whatever the work that happened in Greenwood is contribution of the artists and so many other guys. And we recognize each one uh, very dearly. And there's many of them are still with us. This is a fabulous thing and some people have that came back. So we have retained a post and that's also one of the reasons uh, we are growing by the day. And uh, yeah, education definitely uh, very good. Folks, if you want to break down the questions, please do. Right? If you want to stop on the questions, I don't need to facilitate any more questions for you, right? Uh, Given this dialogue, at any point in time, if you have any question, just raise your hands and pass on the mic to you. Uh, I have one question, I think. So, you said uh, one of your things, uh, right, from age 9 to 10 was uh, create a GPO on capital, right? Uh, often, you guys have a Superman dollar around here. Um, so, how do you decide that? Uh, Often you might be a resource at night and you finish your work. I'm sure you're thinking about it for like 15, 20 years before that. So, what then do you decide this might actually be a part of the trade? No, honestly, when I was 9 and 10, I wanted to remain in Europe and I thought, but that thought I lost. I didn't know that this is what I wanted to do, I never knew it. Only I started going older, 21, 23, 25. That's when I realized what I want to do. So it was not for about 15 years ago, nothing of that sort. And uh, but of course, I was attracted to this field. So it, it was in my core, it went into my subconscious memory that I love animation. That worked. But at 21, when I was 21, I had no clue what I was going to do. I had no idea. So certain decisions, like I said, the university world is the inspiration. Step by step, I started getting closer and started seeing that this is what I should do. So it was never clear to me from day one that it was what I want to do. It was never clear to me. It was very confusing for me. Uh, even when I started the company, it was three years very, very tough. It, it wasn't clear. I was still not like what I want to do anymore. So many times I have to contact uh, this thing. And like I said, he happened in the seventh year after the company, eighth year at the start. We had so many failures and so successful Chodhavi. The channel also plays a very important role for success of Chodhavi. Or any other show which is successful. They market, they leave, once they leave the show, they will market aggressively. Many times the failure idea also comes from them. It need not be just from our studio. The initial things just come from our studio. But sometimes we get fabulous feedback from there. So like I said, it's all about collaborations and partnership. And we hope, I mean, without Fogo, Chodhavi could not be Chodhavi. Probably if it was on a different channel, maybe it would have failed because they believed in it and they put it all the way. They kept investing back into that show. 
that was also their foresight when they didn't do that. Of course, when the successful people will work, many times you are tempted to do, try something else. They did. They were very clear this is successful in show and they will buy. And so definitely partnership is needed. And as you grow, sometimes you have to make tough decisions. And like you said about marketing and everything, after a while, over started taking us for granted. And they started, like when we started making this movie of Dronan uh, Bali, they just didn't want to make an offer to us to move it along. Because they, they kind of taken it for granted that this is our show, so it would come to us. And I was kept talking that they are low. This is the name of this movie, we like a wife and we just did. They never made us, they never made us an offer. So they were taking us for granted. So then we had to make one of the toughest decisions. And then I said that if they are not, let's say, you cannot force a partnership, they are not taking this decision and we would just So they never made any decision. Three weeks later, the movie was released over and over again. I 
today it is the grand, same price what is paid in US or probably at 30% less. But never below that. Today, whatever we buy in the market is nothing but dollar price. It's I mean, brand, anything you buy, almost, so almost the dollar price of the prices are going to be used to all around the world. Because of that, the, the projects from US have stopped coming to India or US Canada and they are going to markets like China, which is one, they are going at one third of Indian cost in Malaysia also. Why is going to China and Malaysia at values in animation field especially is because the Chinese government is funding the entire projects. So when the Chinese government funds and the Malaysian government also funds, the Indian government, uh, government doesn't even give you electricity. So how can Indian company compete with a Chinese company which charges almost one third of your price? Here you can't even you can't do that because they have already funded the, the computers, everything is already paid for by the government. So their cost is only labor cost in China or Malaysia. But for us, we have to take the cost of computer, software, electricity, overhead, management salary, and everything. Because of that, there has been bad time for the animation industry. But it is on the rising trend. Today, there is a local industry which started, which should have been a change. Indian machines are available. Today, this, the jobs are being re employed. Can I ask which is to be ready? Don't you have any of animation? Laila, okay. And the second question what is the unit? Like now, he runs his own company called Marketo. He is into digital uh, uh, marketing, but I see a lot of animation in all the advertisements yeah. that he makes. That's fantastic. That's just bits of face. And how long has he been doing this? Sorry? How long has he been in this company? Five months. He's a startup. Oh, you are <laughs> you already worried. I don't know. I have been for five years at least. So, entrepreneurship, you please don't expect. Please give him five years. As a mother, don't worry. He will do well. Right? As long as he's working hard and trying, the result will come to more later. Just don't worry about it. See? I think my father used to compare me with. Xerox shop. So you have always tell me that that Xerox shop guy makes more money than you do. I just I just didn't know what to say because I was still that. I just stay quiet. My father said, go look at your friends, they are making their money. My father said everything possible to motivate me. At that time I got angry. But I understood later that he caused me so well that if he pinches me in the wrong end, then I will actually give you better performance. Just you should know your son more. Even time, it's not, it's not an easy journey. Thank you. Folks, right. uh, any more questions? I have more goodies. All right, I have more goodies. Uh, we will come back and have a quiz, so we will just take a short survey. Uh, we will come back and we will put it in 10 minutes. And then, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rajiv, for the opening session for it. I think uh, our, our audience is here running for it right now. And it's an amazing problem with this program. So uh, thanks for that. Thank you, it's all in the way of the night. We had a short break. Uh, snacks are here. Uh, our shoes are upstairs. Help yourself. Uh, get back here in 10 minutes. That's amazing. <laughs>
Thank you.